Hey guys, we are back and we are excited to have you here. And uh, we are so glad that you are sticking with us during these daily devotionals and these encouragements. We have had a packed full 24 hours since yesterday. We're so excited for the, uh, we had three people step up to send out cards. Um, we have a ton of people that we have on our list to send out cards. So more the merrier. We thank you so much, ladies, for uh, hearing God's word and saying, you know what? I want to be part of the ministry. I want to be part of the blessing others. Uh, big, big shout out to Diane and TJ who stopped by this morning to help sort out some of our food pantries. Um, Ed and Cheryl, we love you too. We hope you guys are safe up in the Poconos. Um, and Diane and uh, TJ, Diane and TJ, we are excited that you were able to help us clear out some of our spacing here. We were able to get those bread trays back from who knows when. When we got 200 loaves of bread donated to us, we finally got those back to a place, safe place, and uh, we were able to help out our local SPCA. Um, not only that, but Sue Stanley, thank you for stopping in and helping us clean out our recycling. Because of our food pantry, we've had a huge amount of uh, recycling piling up, and so it's nice to be able to get through the area and have a little bit more space available. So we're so excited and happy for you guys and being part of our ministries here. Thank you so much for everybody else. Morgan, thank you again for picking up Wawa um, for the church. We're continuing to work and make sure that we get our food into the hands of those who need it. And so we are continuing to move forward as a blessing and light in our community. And we are doing it because of your support and your prayers. And so thank you so much. We hope that you were excited as much as I am about what God is doing in this time. We have got some great partnerships coming out of this uh, quarantine time. And God is just really pouring his blessings on us as we move forward. A lot of churches right now are struggling. They're trying to figure out what to do, how to move forward. You know what? We're just focusing on God and having patience and peace in what he's doing. And so we thank you so much for that. Uh, we have a great opportunity this weekend. This Friday and Saturday, we've reached out to a lot of men of the church who might be available to help drop off our Mother's Day kits uh, for our ladies of the church. And so we are, we reached out to a lot of you guys. We're, we're excited for those who are available, excited for those who are still in PA. And uh, we thank you guys so much for your willingness to help out. We'll make sure to get back to you on uh, who's going to be dropping what off when. Uh, these kits are going to be great. Um, our ladies are going to absolutely love them. And uh, this Sunday, our service is going to be amazing. Uh, out of all the services I've done with us so far, I am most excited for the service. We have a huge, huge surprise, uh, life-changing surprise uh, coming out. And I don't want to spoil all the goodness, but uh, it is going to be amazing. So I'm so excited for this weekend. Um, so that's a couple of our things in a nutshell. I know we kind of save those updates for the end, but uh, too many good things not to share. And so we are still moving forward. We are still uh, lifting up our faith and our confidence to the Lord. And so he is continuing to bless us in so many ways. Uh, it's hard to even imagine how, how great God is and how he lines up just the right pieces at the right time. And he just continues to flex his muscle so that we can be in amazement of his glory and his strength. And speaking of God, we are continuing our encouragement in Psalms. So we're going to jump over to Psalms so that you can join us in this. Psalms 41, I read the first verse and I was like, yes, that's it. Blessed are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivers them in times of trouble. Man, if I was a little bit more crazy, I'd get that tattooed on my body somewhere. Like that is so good. Blessed are those who have regard for the weak and the Lord delivers them in times of trouble. I mean, is that not what's going on today? Like we're talking like a ridiculous amount of time is past and yet God's word is still true. The Lord protects and per preserves them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. We are truly blessed because of your support and your, um, your assistance and help in this time of need. He does not give them over to desires of their foes. The people that would say churches should close, that churches aren't important, that churches are irrelevant. God does not let our church be in that category because we are very much impacting, loving on our community. And we have so many great things that God is doing and inspiring and creating in us a desire to seek after him. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and restores them from their bed of illness. Right, Chris? Yes, God is good. He heals those who are, are sick and those that are hurting. And he restores them from their illnesses. I said, have mercy on me, Lord. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies say of... Oh, oh, I think I lost this. My <clears throat> Sorry about that. Got a little too excited there and things started moving around. Um, 
All right. I said, have mercy on me, Lord. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. This is when you start getting so tired. You don't even worry about the uh, t typos or mistakes. My enemies say of me in malice, when will he die and his name perish? When will the church close and we can put up a McDonald's there? When will, we, when will that building be sold for housing? When will they go away and not continue meeting? That's what our enemies are saying. When one of them comes to see me, he speaks falsely while his heart gathers slander. When he goes out and spreads it around, all my enemies, enemies whisper together against me. They imagine the worst for me, saying a vile disease has afflicted him. He will never get up from the place where he lives. Even my close friend, someone I trusted, one who shared my bread, has turned against me. But may you have mercy on me, Lord. Raise me up and I may repay them. I know that you are pleased with me, for my enemy does not triumph over me. Because of my integrity, you with you uphold me and set me in your presence forever not just this life but forever and ever and ever praise be to the lord the god of israel from everlasting to everlasting amen and amen like that's just not one am that's two amens like he was stoked we should be stoked that god protects us from our enemies that god continues to provide that god is a god of love and protection and continues to call people to him continues to help marriages grow closer, continues to fix families in dark times. We should be shouting out to praise for God. He is so good, and he continues to strengthen us in these times. He continues to move all of our parts so that we can do something great for our community. We are in such a beautiful time as this because under the pressure of the quarantine, under the challenges and the stress, we will come out stronger. We will come out better and more faithful than what we went into it. And God will use this season in our lives to re remind us of his faithfulness and his goodness. He will draw us closer to one another as we continue to send out cards and reach out to each other and send messages to one another and to continue to build friendships that are not just, oh, that's my church acquaintance. No, that's my brother and sister in Christ. That's what we talked about. That's redemption of cross. It allows us to be adopted into his family. And that's the beauty of what we're doing here. And I am so excited for this. I hope you're excited for this. We have so many great things going on, and uh, I cannot tell you, every week, God reveals more and more of how good he is, and he continues to allow us to move forward in all things, and these are exciting times as we continue to trust in him. We continue to allow God to continue to bless us through our food donations and our food pickups and our online giving and even smiled at Amazon. We haven't got our first check in yet, but how good is it that we are able to get money from people buying stuff on Amazon? Like that is amazing that Amazon would give us money because we bought through them with our names tied to it. Not only that, but we have our card fundraiser. Sorry, the flyer hasn't gone out yet, but we are taking your names. We will have you registered. There's a couple different options that you can pick between the different cards. So you can get the one that best suits you. And uh, we will try to get that information out to you before the end of this week. And uh, we'll be having the fundraiser for one week only so that we can order them and they'll be here within two weeks. My quarantine's not going anywhere for now, but it doesn't mean we can't love our neighbors. And that sometimes that's just by sending a card we can love on them. So we are so excited for what's going on. We hope you guys are excited too. We hope that your desire to read God's word and get in his devotionals are stronger today than they were before. And man, God is good. I hope that you would count the blessings of his goodness and that you'll continue to seek him and all that happens and all that you do. Look for God in the details, and uh, you will never be disappointed. For God is faithful, and he's caring, and he's just, and he's with us always. So we love you. We care about you. We hope that you're doing well. Stay clean and stay connected. Till next time.